but it was just extremely traumatizing. So my heart goes out to all the other mothers who were affected. Jade Scott, a new mother, is now the lead plaintiff in a proposed class action lawsuit. She gave birth to twin girls just two weeks ago. She was expecting a normal, natural delivery at the Moncton City Hospital, but it didn't work out that way. The lawsuit alleges this woman, nurse Nicole Rue, secretly added a labor-inducing drug into her IV bag. Within minutes, Scott says she experienced strong contractions that would not stop. Almost immediately, her baby's heart rates plummeted dangerously low. It led to an emergency cesarean section. I didn't get to meet my girls right away. I was put unconscious, right? So it's supposed to be an exciting moment, and that was robbed. Oxytocin is used to induce labor, but if used inappropriately, it can cause contractions that are too fast and too strong. It could and does impact blood flow to the uterus, which could impact the baby. The claim says Rue was employed as a nurse in the Moncton area for 15 years. She has now been fired. Horizon Health, which operates the Moncton City Hospital, has alleged the nurse's actions forced two women to have emergency C-sections. The lawyers say they've heard from dozens of concerned mothers. She's been involved in hundreds of labor and deliveries. So the potential class would be hundreds of people. None of the allegations has been proven in court. The RCMP is investigating, but no charges have been laid. As for Horizon Health, it declined to comment today. Jade Scott and her lawyer want to know what the hospital knew and when. Kayla Hounsel, CBC News, Moncton.